Vegas. How was your break? It was good. Um, it's a nice, nice time to just kind of unwind and uh, it's a mental reset, I guess you could call it. What's it been like, you know, since you came over, just trying to get up to speed on playbook, defensive concepts, things like that? I mean, that's that's pretty much it. You know, um, you know when you change teams, it's kind of it's not it's not completely different, but you just got to adjust to different play calls and. Defensively, it's, it's, it's kind of similar principles that um, I've had in the past. So that on that end, I don't think it's much of an adjustment. But I think just getting up to speed with the play calling and stuff like that is the biggest thing. Guys, how are you vetting the opportunity that you have right now, looking ahead, about possibly for me in New York or signing elsewhere? Um, I mean, I'm just taking it day by day. Um, you know, I, I've always loved the Knicks, so it's, it's pretty cool to play here. Um, you know, I just have to wait and see what happens. Is that a consideration for you to, to see if you get by or to uh, for the end of the month? Uh, I mean, honestly, I haven't put any real thought into it. Um, you know, there's been some talk about it, but like I said, I'm kind of just focusing on on today. Um, you know, if, if my agent and I decide to explore that, we, you know, it's a conversation we'll have, but right now I haven't really put much thought into it. When you say there's been some talk, do you mean between outside? I mean, outside, yeah, outside. outside. Like, I hear the outside noise, obviously, but nothing, on my end at least, has been initiate I know you, you haven't spent a lot of time here but just the time that you've been here what have you thought about um, RJ Barry uh, I mean I think he's he's a great young player um I think he has a lot of potential to be pretty good um, he gets into the lane he, he can uh, finish on the basket he's strong um, athletic and I think he, he has a real good uh, potential to be to be a special player is it if you're at home, is there a challenge to be playing at home? Because is there more ticket requests or things like that that you have to deal with? Or is that, has that not been a thing for you? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Um, there is, there's more people like, you know, people want to see you, people want to come to the games. And I mean, I think, I don't think that's really necessarily a bad thing. Um, I enjoy being home. I enjoy being able to spend time with my friends and my family. So um, I'm actually excited about it. Um, I played here at, in college, so. I already got a little mini dose of that. Obviously, it's on another level now, but it's something that I, I enjoy. Well, you said there hasn't been talks yet. What's up, Zach? What's up, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned, like, at a time you guys might talk, when your agent might talk about it. Like, how are you going to kind of decide if you want to seek a buyout or not? What's going to be? Uh, I mean, I think there's a few things that factor into it. Um, you know, what the situation is here, obviously. Uh, whether or not, you know, since it is my the last year of my contract, whether or not it makes sense to you know, um, join a contender and just play on in, in, in the playoff stage. Um, you know, those are all things that we got to think about. But um, like I said, right now I'm just focused on getting up to speed here and uh, making the most of this.